What's up guys? Thanks for checking in. Today is chassis day. Um, if you watched my last video, you know that we have been grinding, welding, painting, priming, you name it, we've been doing it on this chassis. We finally got it to the point where it's ready for reassembly. Today's goal is to have a rolling chassis done by the end of the day. We're going to, where is it? We are going to get the rear one ton sterling in. Uh, the four link bars, we're gonna work on getting the front axle in with the three link bars and setting the engine and trans, transfer case, everything back in the Jeep. Then we're gonna put the tires on it. And hopefully at the very end of this video, I'm gonna roll it out into the driveway. So fire's going, let's get it warm up in here and uh, let's get it warmed up in here and then we'll uh, change into something a little warmer and we'll get to work. Also just wanna mention that today is Tuesday and the Jeep has to be completely reassembled, done, painted, and on a trailer Saturday for the Jeep show. So if it makes it, awesome. If it doesn't, awesome. I just wanna see my Jeep looking like a Jeep again. So here we go. <laughs> So the rear double triangulated four link is put in. I did not align this rear axle yet. I'm gonna save that for when the body's on. It seems to be a little bit easier when you have it on there. I am gonna go ahead and tighten up all the nuts a while though. All my jam nuts are still loose. So whenever we go to uh, make our adjustments, we'll crank those down at the end. So axles in, let's tighten down the bolts. Guys like my tripod, pretty fancy. Four link is in, rear axle is in. I went ahead and jacked the axle up and let it rest on my makeshift bump stops until I order in a set of air bumps. Those are just the temporary bump stops that'll hold the rear end up. So now that that is in place, I guess let's throw the rear tires on and then uh, we'll move our way forward and work on the front axle. Rear end is completely in. Now the next task is moving this axle 
up underneath there. I think if I just move them jack stands back a little bit, um, I'm gonna have to use the cherry picker to move him over there just cause how heavy it is. But I have a feeling I'm gonna have to get the engine out of the way first. So let me do a little research in my head and then I'll get back to you. it's under it now we just got to figure out where it really needs to be so we'll grab some links and start trying to line it up chore but uh, I think it won't be too bad. Thank you my lady. You're welcome. <laughs> Ain't she the greatest? So funny. You're awesome. Thank you. All right so now the upper link is in. I'm, I must have lost my nuts. <laughs> lost my nuts for all these front links. So I'm gonna have to grab some nuts then to uh, secure everything, but I'll be able to tighten up the backside. So last thing on the front end is going to be hanging my track bar and then putting the shocks on. Hopefully nothing got distorted whenever I welded it. They look to be about right still. So we'll see, let's, uh, let's get the track bar on now. Man, that's getting me jacked. Look at that. Starting to look like a buggy. hardware for it but you get the point Ugh. all right I am freaking excited to have this thing completely down on the ground and actually get a good look at it uh, the only thing holding it up yet is those two jack stands in the center there and one on the other side. So this is big. I'm excited. Can't wait to roll down the driveway.
It's crazy. This is uh, the first time it's been out of the garage in two years at least, maybe a little bit more. So, I don't know, I'm grinning near dear. This is awesome. I can't wait to go grab her and show her that it's outside. Uh, she'll lose her mind. I do want to stab the engine in tonight if I'm going to, you know, meet this whole show in a couple days. Plan is stick the engine in it, roll it back out, and start body work on this. We only have like three or four days left, but if I can do that in just a couple days, I can do body work on this in no time for a spray paint paint job. All right, so I got the engine floating up in the air. Uh, the tricky part to doing this is getting it in without scratching everything completely. I don't care, but I prefer that it isn't all scratched up. So hold on, I grabbed the mounts here. Uh, these are Dave's custom mounts uh, welded to the frame, and then this is the engine side. So somewhere in the middle of dropping that down in, I have to go ahead and thread those on. So let's see if we can get that handled yet tonight. Oh, still lighter than an atlas. Nope. I was going to say, that's not It's way too low. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get this The problem is I took all these out so I can't see them anymore. Got it. <laughs> that fucking junk. Yeah. This guy's parts. Goes <laughs> <laughs> backwards or something. Or the engine mounts are backwards. One of the two. Or the engine mounts are backwards. I was trying to look at a picture and I couldn't find a picture that actually showed where it was. So that's very possible that those are backwards. Because the one is supposed to go off the yep. piece. Yeah. Which means if we flip those, the engines would go further forward. It would come backwards, which is what we would need. If we flip them? Yeah. Just take them like this and flip them upside down. That would put that hump at the front of the motor, which would bring the motor back. Mm. So that shouldn't be too big of an issue. 